Nathan McKinnon makes this look way too easy. This goal is incredible from start to finish with a quick shimmy shake on this defender as he goes to block the shot. Then with a quick stick handle, McKinnon brings this puck from his backhand to his forehand and lets it fly glove side. This angle shown here on the broadcast is my favorite thing about this entire goal. If you look at McKinnon from this angle, his head is up the entire play. After he makes that move on Cabell, he's scanning his target, looking where he could place this puck, and then he places it so perfectly far post. This is isn't the only time where he's made the shot look way too easy. When he's one-on-one -on -one with the goalie, McKinnon makes this shot look effortless. This backhand forehand glove release is a signature shot for McKinnon, but it's the quickness of his release that makes it so hard to stop. McKinnon's release is the classic example of precision and timing over raw power. While he can overpower goalies with his shot, McKinnon has a lot of success with perfect placement and a lightning fast release. The key is McKinnon's ability to shoot the puck within a stick handle. From backhand to forehand, the release is often in one swift motion. In all these goals, there's no extra dust off of the puck and then a release. Instead, it's all in one motion with zero hesitation, and that makes it incredibly difficult for a goalie to expect the release. As for the Avs, they handled the Caps in this game pretty easily, winning 4-0, and for a team that's pretty banged up on the back end with both Sam Girard and Bowen Byram out, the defending Stanley Cup champions are doing a good job at holding their own. This is the last year of that sweetheart deal for Nathan McKinnon before the most expensive contract in the NHL kicks in at 12.6 million dollars a year and so far he's had a solid start to the season so let me know if you think nathan mckinnon is a top three player in the game mcdavid is still the clear number one but after that it could pretty much be any selection of dry matthews mckinnon or mccarr if you want to see how nathan mckinnon became a superstar in the nhl after an average start to his career i'll leave that link here so you can check it out